Hey guys, welcome to KB Tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can automate a checkbox in mobile using Catalon Studio. So I have started executing one of the test script. So which is an Android application connected to my, uh, my laptop. There I am going to show you how we can automate these checkboxes. Okay. So if you see here, uh, APM server has started running here. Now I am installing this. If you see here, uh, it is clicked on a preferences. Here it is clicked on a checkbox, then it will uncheck. So basically, what I am doing there is I am checking whether the checkbox is selected or not. If it is selected, then I am unchecking it. Okay. So let me start from the scratch. I am taking a new test case, something like checkbox mobile 2. Then go to the mobile recorder, select the Android device, and select the application that. Click on the start. This will start my application. Yeah. Now if you see here, what I'll do is I'll click on this preferences, get into the preferences tab, then preferences from XML, I'll click on it, I'll get into it, okay. Then I have two checkboxes, this is the first one, I'll again tap on it and uh, this is the second one, again I will tap on it. Then I will close this application by clicking on save and save the repository here. Something like checkbox 2. Click on OK. Now go to the checkbox 2 here. Yeah, this is a checkbox 0, this is a checkbox 1. Right. Try to rename them so that it's easy for us to understand. So checkbox 0. checkbox 1 cool. now go to the keyword browser and type check in the mobile section you could see inside mobile keyword in element you could see four methods check element uncheck element verify element check verify element unchecked so first what i'll do is i'll see verify element not checked so this will be uh, for the checkbox zero and give the timeout as something like four seconds so what it does is it will check the element is checked or not if the element is not checked it will return true Okay, so that's why I have applied if, if the element is not checked, in the beginning element that checkbox won't be checked. So it will return me true. Here I'll click on the checkbox. So check the element that I'll click. Just drag and drop it here. Go here. First, this will come in as simply put this into the if condition that means when the element is not checked check that element right then in a similar way what i do is go to the manual mode and check for the element checked condition so here once i have checked this element it will be checked element is checked 
then if I put this if and else it should return me true since the checkbox is already checked. So when the checkbox is checked I'll simply uncheck this. There were so many checks words I am speaking so a little bit careful. I'll simply uncheck this. I hope you guys have understood now. In the first, I am checking the element is checked or not. In the beginning element won't be checked. Then using check element, I am checking that checkbox. Then when the element, when the checkbox is checked, I am checking with a condition called verify element check. Yes, my checkbox is checked. So it will return me true. Then I am unchecking the checkbox. Okay need this tab here uh, tab of checkbox I don't need for the sake of object repository I have used them I can cut this so in the beginning I am launching my application getting into the preference menu from there preference from XML menu then I am checking these conditions then I am closing my application okay just try to run this application and see As you can see, I have started the application. It is started the RPM server in the DOM. On this port, 52151 port, RPM server has started running. Then install this. It will go to the preferences get into the preferences from XML it will check that checkbox then it will uncheck it okay something got failed why it got failed okay this object I have not given understood in the if condition I have not given the object properly if you see here second if condition I have not given the object because of that got failed not a big deal go to the script to mode select this object give some time out then it should work properly try to run it now Very simple guys, only methods that you need to try to use I have already explained. From here check and you get these four methods. IPM server has started. Install it. We'll go to the preferences, preferences from XML. It will check the checkbox. Then it will uncheck because I am verifying these two conditions here. Verify element checked, verify element not checked. I hope it's informative for you guys. If you have any doubt, do let me know in the comment section so that I can help you more on this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.